Well, this is my really cute bathroom, but if you look closely, I had a panic attack before you got here, and this is what's going on in our shower. <laughs> so embarrassing. We have an extra mattress, we have an extra rug. The toaster oven I thought looked really gross on the counter, so I was like, I'll just throw it in the shower. This is my shame. <laughs> this is definitely my shame. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hey, I'm Jessie, and welcome to my apartment. Come on in. I'm Jessie Ruan, also known as Jessie Fines. I am an actress, but I am recently now a home decor influencer, whatever that means. We are here in our thousand square foot loft apartment in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I live with my fiance, Ryan, and we also live with our dog, Dusty. It's one giant room, which means we also have no closets, no storage, um, nowhere to hide anything. Um, but because it's one big box, I really had the challenge of defining different areas so that it feels like a cohesive space, but also feels like not just one giant space. This building was built in the 1930s. I believe it was a paper factory before it became apartments, I think in the 80s. Before we moved into the apartment, it was literally just an open space, light walls and a brick wall and wood floors. This was the first accent wall I painted. I didn't really know what I was doing. This is back in like 2018 and like painting shapes and stuff wasn't really a thing yet. Some people were doing it, but I had seen it somewhere online. I have no idea where. And I fell in love with this color called Copper Patina by Bear. And I knew I wanted to paint this entire wall, including the molding and including the shelf, because the shelf was just like a bare wood with red brackets before, and I it just didn't like it. Ironically, this was actually my least favorite part of the apartment before painting it. Um, and then when I painted it, it became my absolute favorite. So. I love that wherever the problem is, is the opportunity. This is my dining space. Um, I actually found these chairs on the street and then I painted them green, which is a theme of the apartment. I tend to paint a lot of things green. Um, and wear a lot of green paints. And I wear a lot of green. I wear a lot of green, I use a lot of green. Green, I didn't know green was my favorite color until like a year ago. Oh, dusty. Who's this? This is Dusty. He wants to be a part of the movie. He'll be a star, my friend. <laughs> and then I ended up adding a lot of green into this frame wall. Assembling it took way longer than I thought. I had them all laying on the floor here for like seven hours. My favorite is our burger print. It's our specific burger order at our favorite burger place. Uh, so it's very near and dear to us. This is our like bar area. This is a vintage Johnson Carper dresser that we're using as like a credenza kind of thing. As I've said, we have no storage in the apartment. So there's a lot of dressers in the apartment because for literal just storage. Where do you find a lot of your stuff in here? Um, we find a lot of it like on the street. This was through a friend who was selling it through her Instagram because she was moving. Um, this is, I found this in Ryan's family's house. It's a hundred years old, apparently. Um, just like a little shelf and I, I use it to hold our um, cups. We have some vintage cups and some Ikea cups and um, just kind of a mishmash of things that I love. What's the secret to finding things on the street? Honestly, you can find amazing stuff. I have found vintage mid-century modern tables. I have this guy, this is a Haywood Wakefield. I have a second one of him. Ow, that's my cactus. Um, this vintage Haywood Wakefield, which I have a second one of as well. Um, that I'm in the midst of refinishing, but I am learning the skill of how to refinish wood, so just be a little patient with me. But I found these on the street, and they're like really like sought after vintage pieces. So you just like never know. Just keep your eyes peeled, and um, don't be afraid to just like grab something, hop in an Uber, or like ask a friend to come help you grab it. Just do it, because you could. New York is like such a resource for amazing furniture that people need to get rid of. So during quarantine, um, me and like a lot of people were very bored and wanted to find ways of, I don't know, adding more personal touches to their apartments. Um, painting is such a great way for like a renter, if you're allowed to paint, um, to change the complete feel of the space. Because before I always felt like the furniture I had here was kind of floating out of nowhere. And I wanted something colorful, A, to like, 
and to also really just define this area so that it all the whole apartment doesn't kind of feel like everything's floating the best part about painting too is like if you hate it you can just paint over it it's not a big deal um so i knew if i hated it i would have the time to paint over it um this is our giant crate and barrel sectional that we got off craigslist it was the first piece of furniture we bought when we got this apartment we had a panic attack when we first moved in. We didn't really know how to decorate a loft space, specifically one that literally is just a rectangle. So I knew I wanted some sort of big um, grounding anchoring piece in the center of the apartment. And I found this one on Craigslist for a fifth of the price. We jumped on it. I don't even think we thought about it. I think we just kind of said we were getting it and then had to get a U-Haul, which was horrible. Um, and picked it up in Midtown, like 42nd and 8th, like the worst place to have a U-Haul, trying to find a place to park it. It was, it was pretty much a nightmare, but safe to say it was worth it. It's our favorite piece of furniture um, in the apartment. It's also Dusty's favorite piece of furniture. Um, and I think it's possibly the comfiest couch on the planet. Um, this is our bedroom area. Um, I kind of defined it by adding a big colorful shelf in a green, if you can imagine, um, to kind of separate the space. I also hung these frames up here too to like mimic a wall. Um, we thought about putting something that was like more like a wall, but I didn't want to block any of the light because these are our only windows in the entire apartment and then we have a skylight over there. So I wanted to make sure light could pass through it. So that was really important. Um, this is my headboard that I DIY. Uh, this was just a wooden headboard that we had. It was just like a light colored wood. It was really cute. I loved it, but I really wanted something upholstered and I wanted something in green because it's me. Um, and I love like an olive green. I'm like obsessed with it. And um, so I upholstered it. I got some like foam and some batting. I have the DIY on my website if you're interested in all the stuff I used. Um, and I found this gorgeous fabric on Amazon of all places. And I kind of just one day just threw it all together and I fell in love with it. And then I had extra um, material. <laughs> Literally, this is the exact amount that was left and which is why it's so skinny and long. Tell me about this. Um, so we have an industrial heater. Um, it is placed over where I sleep on the bed, which I guess makes me incredibly brave but um, I'm not really worried about it ever falling. It's been there, I think, for like 30 years plus. Um, it certainly runs like it's at least 30 years old. When you live in an old factory in New York City, you get, you get a Resner. <laughs> you are so handsome. You are so handsome. What I love most about my apartment is that it is a big open space. So it always feels grand. It always has that wow factor when you walk in. I love watching people who've never seen my apartment before come in their, their face when they first see it. That's always really exciting to me. Click here to watch another amazing home tour and be sure to subscribe to Homeworthy.